travel type alternate universe type mm-hmm. thing as well. So. Absolutely. No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a great, uh, it's a great way to work that into this episode as well. Um, and, and it's a perfect little ending because it's, it's, you know, it, it, there's Cisco, there's Kirk saying Lieutenant, uh, you know, and then, okay, carry on, Lieutenant. It's just, it's just great. It's just a great little way to end. Cisco gets to talk to Kirk and, and it's, yeah. it's just, I mean, who <laughs> wouldn't? Who, I mean, yeah. who wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> I think as well as like, I found it quite, I couldn't, when I was rewatching it, it's not something I'd noticed before, but obviously, in the background, you can see Uhura is looking over to whatever's going on with 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 Kirk from the mm-hmm. end of Mirror Mirror. Yeah, but it obviously looks like she's staring at Cisco. Like, there's another person of color on this ship. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. I mean, it's, like, it's just the way she, it looks like she's constantly staring at him. I mean, it's a fine looking man. I probably stare at him too. So, you know, but it was very. You, you kind of realize the lack of diversity in the original series it just looks like she's like there's another person of color yeah i didn't know <laughs> when did we get another black guy on this show i have no clue yeah it's uh yeah i mean for its time i think original series again tried its best you know they had their moments where there it was definitely more diversity than you saw in other shows but definitely. um could have they been better <laughs> definitely paved the way oh absolutely i think um i think definitely you know like we were talking about earlier you know tng had its moments where it was trying to do things as well i I thought tng definitely did try to keep uh, i definitely believe that they kept up the um the attitude of diversity as far as um having people of color on the show um and I think having, of course, Deep Space Nine, first black captain that was like a series regular, um, mm-hmm. also very admirable. Um, and he's a single father as well, which is not something you normally see. Exa- that's another great point. Yeah, being a single father, being um, being the type of dad who like would kiss his son on the cheek, mm-hmm. kiss his son on the forehead, like – that and and nobody is going to accuse Benjamin Cisco of being like I I'm going to use the word sissy even though I don't mean it in a in a bad like if you kiss your son on the cheek you're a sissy I don't mean it that way but like society tends to look at it that way um yeah, so like yeah. just general affection and just being affectionate with people is is just you know sometimes people just don't get it <laughs> exactly so to see like a black man in power, uh, who is tough. I mean, he punched out Q. I mean, he punched Q. Like he wasn't like, he wasn't <laughs> intimidated or scared of him in any way. And then to also be very tender and loving and affectionate with his son. Uh, I think that's, I think that's an important thing to see on TV. I think it's an important thing to be normalized. To see yeah. men yeah. showing affection to their sons or to other men mm-hmm. in a in a completely appropriate way. So yeah. Um, also, good steps forward. We yeah, we always appreciate that too. Um, and then of course the final little thing. Um, guess what's back, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Tribbles are back. They are no longer eradicated by the Klingon Empire. And I do like that Odo um, asks Cisco, did you tell them? Mm-hmm. And Cisco, they didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then I think it's Jadzia who says uh, we could build another station, I guess. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Tribbles are back, which is uh, which is great. Um, maybe not great for the Klingon Empire, but it's great for everybody else. So, <laughs> yeah. So that is our episode. That is trials and tribulations. Hmm. Awesome, great choice, Kay. I'm so glad you picked this episode for us to review. Mm-hmm. Me too. I'm glad, I'm glad I could come and help review it with you. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh. Yeah, this is a, just a really great episode of Star Trek. Fun, you know, fan, definitely a fan favorite. 
a little bit of fan service, but I love it, and uh, <laughs> I think it's fan service yeah. done right. I think it's done the right way. A piece of trivia that I always really liked was the fact yeah. that Walter Koenig came back to actually show people how to use the tech of the old Enterprise, because obviously it all changed since the last time. The panel I... came on to show them around for a day to sort of tell them about the panels and how they mm-hmm. how they used to work. <laughs> I did not know that. Oh, that is so cool. That is very cool. I love the idea that he came on set to help them all figure out how to use the tech from the original series. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. He came, yeah. he came to our, like, we have um like a fan convention here called Armageddon, and he was here a couple of years ago. So I got my picture with him. So. Nice. Oh, happy with that. Great. great picture. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, we... um. He was at uh, C2E2 last year in Chicago. And, uh, oh, this year, excuse me, because <laughs> that feels like it last year. It does feel like it's been years. That's, I can't believe that was only five months ago. Mm. Good Lord. Yeah, he was at C2E2 earlier this year in Chicago. And, um, uh, I, I know, um, Neil and I went to the panel and heard him speak. And, uh, also, George Takei was there, which was pretty exciting. We got to hear him speak as well. Um, yeah, he's he's great, Walter Koenig. He's just – he's a very fascinating, interesting guy. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. There was, yeah, when I lived in the UK in London, they had a big Star Trek convention, and I think they had all five captains. Oh, a picture yeah. with way out. Outside my budget. Way oh, outside I, my budget. That. So, oh, I can only imagine how much that was. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the autograph and I got a picture with, oh, I completely and utterly like forgotten his name. The one, it was from Deep Space Nine. He played the, you know, the race that was always cloned. Oh, uh, Wayoon. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I had a um, picture with him. <laughs> every- uh, Jeffrey Combs is the actor. Yes, I had a picture of Jeffrey Combs because he's in like hot, um, quite a few horror movies that I'm quite fond of as well. So I was like, okay, that was in my budget. I could I can get a picture with him. <laughs> <laughs> he he's been in a lot of episodes of Track. He's played a lot of characters in the, in all the different series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So um, Kay, before we wrap up, um, if people would. Uh, like to know more about you or interact with you? Are you anywhere on the interwebs or anywhere that people can uh, talk to you? Um, they can talk to me on uh, Leftover Army. Um, I don't have my own podcast set up yet. Um, mm-hmm. I'll let people know when it when it is done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably next week of time because of uh, work deadlines and everything. Um, I often do reviews for uh, um, uh, Eastern for cinema, there's a website called easternkicks.com, and I do reviews on there for Asian cinema. Hmm, cool. So, yeah, I've got an Instagram, K New Zealand is usually where you find me under, and I'm on the uh, Army um, uh, disc- Discord as well. So I finally got a code that worked, and I'm on there <laughs> now. So <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, so if if you would, uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about Kay, you could certainly uh, look up her reviews on her website. Could you tell me that website one more time? It's called easternkicks.com. Easternkicks.com. Yeah, I'm just one of the many writers there. Um, my, my output is very, very limited, obviously, this year as well. But hopefully at the end of, by the end of August, there should be at least um, another eight reviews by me up because we've got our New Zealand Film Festival is coming on is is happening so oh. oh nice exciting well i hope you'll come back uh for another episode with us and yeah, uh, yes I should, I should my next favorite episode and then put that on the list too <laughs> oh perfect okay well uh that's awesome i, I want to thank everybody uh who's listening i want to thank everybody who's um uh, come on our show uh, with their personal logs. We have some more episodes coming up. Uh, we've got some uh, fun episodes where we're going to do some uh, some themed uh, mm-hmm. episodes coming up. So, you know, big sur- nah, it's a little, we'll, we'll keep it a little mysterious, little surprises. And, mm-hmm. um, but and yeah, even if somebody wants to do Enterprise. 
So that's exciting. Yes, we do. Um, we also have somebody which uh, would actually, I think, is going to review one of the movies mm-hmm. with us. So uh, we've got uh, we've got some fun stuff coming up, and we appreciate everybody who's kept listening, um, even though Picard is over. Mm-hmm. But uh, we're still here talking about Star Trek. So, yeah, we'll be back in another two weeks with another personal log, another fun episode. Um, so, And thanks, of course, to Brooke, as always who records and edits and puts up our episode even though she's very very busy and does a million other things but thank you Brooke oh yeah doing no that problem <laughs> awesome <laughs> thanks again to Kay for being on our show today we appreciate you giving up your Saturday morning to be with us oh. Such a pleasure. Anytime, anytime. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, that's it for us this time. Um, until the next episode, keep boldly going where no one has gone before. See ya. Bye. Bye. <sighs>